Okay, so here's some tips for your grill. One of the key components of my cupboard buying every single summer and every single spring, fall, and winter, I buy a jumbo size box of baking soda. Why? If we had a grease fire here right now, do not ever put water on a grease fire. It will cause an absolute catastrophe. What you wanna do is use a fire suppressant. Baking soda is a natural fire suppressant. It also cleans up very easily afterwards. If you noticed, I don't have any long floppy sleeves on. Very important, okay? When you're dealing with fire outside, if you had a long floppy sleeve and you're holding your hand over a grill, especially an open flame grill, those sleeves can catch on fire. You should have a solid footing wherever your grill is. You shouldn't have any slippery stuff, okay? I've got lots of salt on my floor right now in front of my grills because of the snow and ice. You also wanna make sure your grills are level. Because of a few things, grease fires can travel. You want even cooking. So make sure your grills are nice and level wherever they're located. Check your local fire regulations to figure out how far away you need to be from your fence line. A good rule of thumb is at least a couple of feet. But check, because each individual area is different. Make sure whatever you do, you know where your fire extinguisher is at all times and that you have one. Check it regularly, twice a year. When you change your clocks, you check your fire extinguishers. It, it bodes really well for fire safety on grills if you know exactly where your fire extinguisher is, that it's kitchen rated, and that you've checked it twice a year to make sure it's charged fully. Grill safety is number one. Subscribe to this channel for all that great barbecue goodness.